Our lives, food, houses, jobs, economy, and well-being, and our future depend on healthy ecosystems. But our planet is fragile and carrying capacity of ecosystems is limited. To live sustainably with limited environmental resources, we have to take care of the environment. Environmental education teaches us how to become active environmental citizens who practice pro-environmental behavior individually and collectively. Environmental education can take many forms. Some environmental education programs aim to foster environmental knowledge. For example, through citizen science, people learn about uh, local biodiversity and migration routes. And climate change education teaches about strategies to reduce greenhouse gases. Other environmental education programs focus on bringing people outdoors to experience nature. For example, at nature centers, urban residents hike along na natural trails and paddle on rivers. And forest schools encourage students to spend most of the day playing and learning in the woods. Yet other environmental education programs try to improve social and cultural aspects of human lives. Such programs focus on education for environmental justice and education about the urban environment. Finally, many environmental education programs focus on environmental action and behavior that benefit the environment. For example, students and community members participate in litter cleanups or restoration of a riverbank ecosystem. Ultimately, all environmental education programs are designed to improve the environment and our connection with it. Interestingly, although environmental education and eSTEM are different, they are both concerned about the environment. Scholars describe environmental education as education in, education about, and education for the environment. When we say in the environment, we mean that learning takes place outdoors in nature. About the environment means that learning focuses on the environment, ecosystems, and nature. And education for the environment means that environmental educators help us solve or mitigate environmental problems through individual behavior and collective action. ESTEM is also concerned with the environment. ESTEM programs that help students gain knowledge as well as inquiry and critical thinking skills prepare students to participate thoughtfully in environmental debates. When students engage in project-based and problem-based learning, they contribute to solving environmental problems. Both approaches are closely aligned with environmental education. Other e-STEM programs use environmental topics as a context to enhance STEM knowledge and skills and thus focus primarily on academic rather than environmental goals. As we try to protect our environment, it makes a lot of sense to combine forces of environmental education and e-STEM. I'll explain why. Thomas Heberlein, a professor of environmental sociology at the University of Wisconsin-Madison emphasized three fixes for environmental problems. The structural fix, such as introducing new environmental rules and regulations. The cognitive fix, fostering environmental behavior and attitudes. And technological fix, technological eng engineering and scientific solutions for environmental issues. Both environmental education and eSTEM focus on learning and thus are most closely aligned with Heberlein's cognitive fix. However, environmental education may also encourage students to engage in collective action to change policies, for example, by meeting with local officials to persuade them to install bike lanes. And eSTEM engages students in design projects such as designing a system to compost school wastes, possibly even contributing to new technologies. Thus, taken together, environmental education and eSTEM focus on Heberlein's cognitive fix, but students in these programs also learn how to contribute to structural and technological fixes for environmental problems.